Hello, everybody. This is Jody Ann Johnson, people strategist and champion, with the 97th episode of Coffee with Jody. And today, we're going to be talking some more about that very controversial four day work week and why it might just be coming our way. Remember back in March of 2020, when the country was talking about going on lockdown um, and businesses were going to have to close unless you were essential business, we were thinking like, how in the world are we going to make that work? How, how's that going to actually work that people could work from home? But within a very short period of time, people figured out how to use Zoom, how to use Microsoft Teams, how to use Slack to be able to remain productive. And they got into a rhythm, into a routine of how to work productively from home and keep their businesses going for the most part. Well, now as we're moving toward returning to the workplace and children returning back to school, people are considering, hey, you know, when I was working from home, I was able to take care of my kids. I was able to be at home with my pet. I was able to take care of an elderly or a disabled family member. And I don't know if I really want to go back into work. So we've begun to explore what are the different ways that people could be flexible in having their employees either working remotely, moving to a four day work week, some kind of a hybrid. The interesting thing is that California Congressman Mark Takano has just introduced the four day work week legislation. Yeah, he's introduced this to legislation and he has the backing of a number of other congressmen as well. The idea is that a four day work week benefits both the employer and the employee. Pilot programs around the world have been showing promising results, including an increase in productivity, work-life balance, and morale in the workforce. Believe it or not, this legislation is backed by the AFL-CIO, the Economic Policy Institute, and the National Employment Law Project. Now, we expect that there will be some pushback from companies about this legislation. And if you can think about just a few years ago, the idea of working remotely was only available to a very few uh, number of employees and businesses that were offering that. Now we've shown over the last 18 months that it is a very viable way for work to get done and that people are productive and the businesses are still thriving. Takano said, at a time when the nature of work is rapidly changing, it's incumbent upon us to explore all possible means of ensuring our modern business model prioritizes productivity, fair pay, and improved quality of life for its workers. As we explore different ways to create greater work-life balance for our employees, and for ourselves for that matter, <laughs> is it could be a six hour work day. It could be a 10 hour, it could be a 12 hour. I know I used to work 12 hour shifts three days a week and I thought it was awesome having four days off because I could do so many other things that I needed and wanted to do in my life when I was in nursing. The important thing is that we create an environment where the business gets what it needs and where the employee also gets what they need and know that together in a dialogue, we can create workability and happiness and actually have it all. I'd like to hear what you're thinking about this idea, what concerns or considerations you might have, or whether you're actually for it so that this dialogue can continue. I mean, once somebody has introduced this into legislation, there's enough momentum out in the world for this movement to end up in legislation. Now, obviously we don't expect it to be passed this year or maybe next year or the year after that. It took from 1926 to 1934 or 37 to go to a five day work week back when uh, Henry Ford and the unions were talking about it in the 20s and 30s. However, it did actually end up happening. So we can embrace it or resist it, but there is momentum building for this particular concept. And that's why I wanna engage you in it. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to find out more about how business coaching can support you and benefit you in reaching your business goals, then please sign up on the calendar link below for a discovery conversation. We'd be delighted to support you with that. That's it for today. Bye for now.